Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rapid Bites. Today, Kyle is going to step us through how to uh, create a wallet using the Rapid API. So I'm just gonna first set things off by talking a little bit about our community, community.rapid.net. If you haven't enjoyed it yet, please go over to community.rapid.net, join the conversation. Uh, you can find questions about our APIs, you can ask questions, start a discussion about FinTech. It's a really cool place. Uh, to get engaged in fintech conversation um, and all the rest of things Kyle's going to talk about today in his uh, in his short uh, video here. So with that said, I'm going to turn it over to you, Kyle. Thanks, Drew. Uh, today we're going to create a wallet, uh, both a personal wallet uh, with a personal user uh, and a company wallet um, with a business user. So let's get to it. Um, uh, so I'm here on our uh, reference guide documentation, uh, which notes uh, three different wallets that uh, are within Rapid. Uh, I've stated already um, a personal wallet, uh, a company wallet, uh, which both has user um, wallet contacts, but then also a client wallet. And your client wallet is basically the uh, storehouse of your account and all that where it happens um, to be all of your um, reports are are uh, derived from uh, the reconciliation and settlement uh, happen in your client wallet and so as a client account user uh, you will have a, a rapid wallet that uh, you'll hold um, and you can fund uh, with multiple bank accounts and so I will be uh, walking through us uh, through an API call in Postman. Uh, but before that, I want to go over to the um, Rapid Wallet overview on the uh, guide side. And this just this diagram depicts that uh, client wallet, uh, which we won't be uh, obviously focusing on today. That's where basically all of the controls come from in in client portal. Um, so just an explanation of, of the client wallet. Uh, here you have a lot of the uh, rapid collect APIs and uh, which we uh, looked at in the last video as far as uh, payment method. Uh, and then that goes into your, all of those funds go into your uh, rapid wallet account. And so that would be specifically your client wallet. Uh, and then that funds uh, rapid disperse where you are paying um, to other wallets and then goes to rapid uh, issuing which where you can issue a virtual cards on your rapid wallet account and then here are some some of the use cases for a rapid wallet but let me get to uh, our api call and so i'll be working out of postman And I'm going to search wallet. And first, we're going to create a personal wallet here. Um, here we have the uh, request body, the payload, and uh, just uh, a few explanations of um, some of these values, which can all be found uh, if you go to the reference guide, uh, rapid wallet overview, uh, and then go to wallet object. Uh, and then these are basically all the fields of of um, what you'll be inputting and as well as wallet contact object here. Um, and so I will go to uh, back to Postman and here we have the contact of, of the wallet. So this is the personal user. Typically in our examples, we have John Doe um, and then the wallet reference ID. So this will be the unique ID uh, here. We, as an example, we just have a date so I can put a date. And one thing to point out as, while Kyle's doing this real quick, Kyle, sorry, I'm just going to jump in is we have another video on uh, create your first API call. So it's going to show you a little bit more detail about how to set up uh, postman and use the collection there. So I just wanted to throw that out there while you were, were typing. Yeah, thanks, Drew. That's a really good point. Uh, yeah, I'm using the the uh, collection uh, for uh, Postman right now and 
has all these examples already. And so right here, I want to point out the type. This is will be the difference between personal wallet or a company wallet. And so as we can see right here, it says person. And then uh, continuing the contact information of uh, the wallet uh, owner and, or user. Uh, and then going down here, uh, country and, and more identification information. And so, yeah, here is the API call, I'll click send. And there we go, we have our response. Uh, what I want to point out is here the wallet ID. This is what you'll use, um, you know, going forward, creating a wallet or, or funding the wallet, transferring funds between that wallet. This will be important to use uh, as well. And then this is here the ID of the contact of the John Doe contact overseeing or controlling this wallet. And let me create a company wallet. And so here is uh, the same endpoint, uh, but this is uh, a company that we're creating. Here's the, the reference ID. So uh, I'll create something unique. And then the type uh, company, this is noting uh, the type of wallet and the difference between a personal wallet and a company wallet is actually a company wallet can have multiple users or multiple owners of that wallet. A personal wallet can only have one. Nice. I was just about to ask you that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, so here the contact would be Mary Chen, um, and then, uh, her personal information. So I'll go and click send and here we go. Uh, again, we have a successful response. Here is the, uh, the e-wallet ID, um, as well as, uh, the one contact for Mary Chen. I'm going to go, going to go to, uh, the client portal here. I can click refresh. Uh, and here we have our wallets. Um, they are not funded yet, but here, uh, if I if you click on here, it says John Doe, basically the, the e-wallet ID. Uh, and then here, Henry, Harry, Henry company, uh, and then we click, uh, details, uh, basically if I go over to contact Mary Chen. There she is that, uh, the contact of the company wallet. Um, and so there we go. Um, here I'm in client portal. Again, I show, we show you a little bit around in client portal in one of the other videos and we have further videos, uh, here we have. Uh, just the controls within uh, the wallet section in client portal, which you'll be able to navigate or, or do API calls for these. So, um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna show you, uh, more content, um, how to create a customer and, and transfer funds on wallets and, and so more to come. Nice. Thanks, Kyle. It's really good. Appreciate the short intro into creating a wallet. Thanks, Drew. So guys, just to wrap things up, uh, I'd be remiss without talking a little bit more about our community, the docs. Um, you know, Kyle referenced the docs today, docs.rapid.net. We've got use cases, our guides. We have, you know, the API reference um, in our community. Uh, again, join our community, engage in the conversation, ask questions, answer questions. Um, and then if you wanted to reach out to Kyle and I, uh, we're hanging out on Rapid Payments, which is our Twitter handle. If you do hashtag Rapid Bytes, which is this series of videos, uh, we'll be happy to uh, engage with you and answer any questions you have. So that said, it's a great video, Kyle. Appreciate the intro to create a wallet, and I look forward to the next one with you. Awesome.